It's one of the most uh, important parts about the Boston Marathon, most inspirational is all the charity runners, mm. why they run. We're here with the st uh, Marathon Strides Against MS Team. There are 49 people running for that. Today, we have Sadik, Mike, and Erica. They are here running for that. And Sadik, it's a big milestone for you on the 120th Boston Marathon. Tell us about that. Uh, yes, it is. This is going to be my 120th marathon. Wow. So, yeah, uh, it was a plan made a long time ago. I just said I can keep on running, not quitting. Um, so, so that's. This is the how long does it take you to run 120 marathons? How, um, how many years is this? Been? It took about two years. So on the average, I did six marathons a year. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> still two seasons, though. Still spring and fall seasons. Yeah. Um, Unbelievable. So yeah. Sadek has a lot of experience. Yes. Erica is running her first marathon. Do you have any advice for her, having run 120? <laughs> <laughs> well, my advice will be um, just celebrate your training and listen to yourself because uh, you know your gut feeling will tell you the truth. Just enjoy the day though you have done the training this is a celebration day <laughs> tell us why mike and erica why you two are running uh, this and why you're running for for this organization uh this organization is, is, is near and dear to us uh, my wife was diagnosed eight years ago with ms um there is over two million people in the world with ms uh over twelve thousand just in massachusetts so we're just trying to give back um raise as much money as we possibly can um it's just such a great cause and i think really someday i really feel like we're going to be able to see a cure for ms and we want to be we want to be a part of that so you were diagnosed with ms in 2007 yes you're running the boston marathon what does that mean to you to be at that point where you can run a marathon um well i mean mike ran last year like he said and i didn't realize how many people on the team actually have ms that run so i thought that's so inspiring i'm like i if they can do it i can do it and i want to um show others that you know if they have a mess it doesn't it doesn't define them and they can put do anything they put their minds to so. in fact of the 49 members on the team eight of you are running with mls uh what does it mean to have that support around you there's 49 people running for this cause um it's 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 huge it's i mean the ms society um does so much for people with MS with the money that they raise for research and for programs to help people um, who have certain disabilities having MS it's it's such a great great cause so Sadik, I want to ask you about the weather because you've done 120 of these what is what do you what's your feeling about how the weather is today is it a little warm is it just right what do you think um, I think everybody has a different preferences so uh, having trained in New England area to me it's kind of on the warm side yeah. but I was in Australia about three weeks ago those guys love this kind of weather for them it's kind of cool um, so I think it's the preference so, but it's definitely a great thing for spectators to be out there for cheering on us so i know there will be lots of them along the course so i'm hoping that's going to be the positive vibe all right yeah. guys good luck to you thank you for stopping by and joining us it's going to be a great day and congratulations for making it this far thank you thanks, thanks for having us erica mike Sadik. thank you very much and best of luck on your first boston marathon and your 120th in fact it is the 120th running of the boston marathon itself and we are right back on wbz with more coverage